Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure site-to-site -site VPN between two Dretek routers by using PPTP. So as per my lab topology, before we configured IPsec VPN tunnel between HQ to branch. Now I am going to show it to you how to configure PPTP between HQ and branch. So I'm going to access my HQ Dretek router through the management IP which is 10.1.1.1 so which is this so right now my PC is directly connected on port number 3 and we configured 10.1.1.1 which is last 24 and we have enabled the DHCP and the DNS so let's go and access my Dretek router So the default username is admin and the password is admin. Say login. Then after that click OK. Then go to the VPN and remote access. So before we start the PPTP, let's go and check whether the service is enabled or not. So for that, just click on the remote access control. And if you see here, enable PPTP VPN service. Make sure that the service is checked. Then after that, Go to the LAN to LAN, then click on index number 2. So now I am going to enable the index number 2 for my PPTP. So right now I am in HQ, so my 2962 router is going to act as a VPN server. So I am going to specify the profile name as 2 branch, so I can say PPTP. Now I am going to give the call direction. So the call direction I am going to specify as dial-in. So the dial-in is nothing but which is acting as a VPN server. So now let's go to the dial-in settings. Then uncheck the remaining. And check the PPTP. Then after that you can specify the username. So I am going to specify as PPTP user. Then the specify the password. Then after that, just go down the local network IP. So right now I am in HQ. In my HQ, we have three networks, which is 192.168.10, 20, and 30. So right now what I am going to do from 10, I want to access 40, 50, 60, which is in the branch. So for that, what I am going to do, the local network IP is 192.168.10.1. And the remote network is 192.168.40.1. But not only one network, we have multiple networks. So for that, just click on more. Then specify those networks, which is 192.168.50.1. The net mask is slash 24. Then click add. Then after that, you can specify 192.168.60.1. Then you can specify slash 24. Then click add. Then after that, say OK. Then click close. Then so far you have completed at the HQ site. Then click OK. Now say OK now. Now let's go and connect it to the branch. So log out from here. So I'm going to disconnect my cable from the HQ and I'm going to connect it to the branch router. So in the branch router, as I mentioned to you, we are going to configure, we are going to access the branch router with 10.2.2. So let's enter the username and password, which is admin and admin. Then after that, go to the VPN and remote access and click on the remote access control. So let's see here whether PPTP VPN service is checked or not. Once it's enabled, then go to the LAN to LAN. Then after that, click on index number two. Here I'm going to enable the profile. So I'm going to say here to HQ via PPTP. So the call direction, right now, this is the branch and which is going to act as a VPN client. So I need to select as a dial out. Then after that, I have connected with WAN2. So now what I'm going to do now, whenever you select as a dial out, make sure that 
the tunnel you need to say always on then go to the dialog settings then here you need to specify the server IP which is my HQ site and in my HQ site I have a public IP which is 195.229.219.2 and I'm going to use the PPTP and the username is PPTP user then the password is something secret then after that go down then the local network is 192.168.40.1 and the remote network is 192.168.10.1 then click on the more remote subnets because we have 20 and 30 as well that's going to add that then specify here 192.168.20.1 the subnet mask is slash 24 then click add then specify here 192.168.30.1 then click add that's it then after that say ok now click ok let's check here the tunnel is up let's go to the connection management and if you see here the PPTP tunnel is up now if you want to check the routing table just go here and see the routing table then here you can able to see 10, 20 and 30 there is three static routes which is injected into your routing table and uh, if you want to access 10 network or 20 or 30 network you can able to access through your VPN tunnel so now what I'm going to do now let's go to the head office and see the status there so I'm going to connect on head office to detect router now let's just refresh the page then enter the username as admin and password is admin then after that say ok go to the VPN and remote access and click on the connection management now if you see here the tunnel is up so now what I want to show you to here as I mentioned to you earlier in my head office on my layer 2 switch port number 1 I shifted into VLAN number 10 port number 2 I shifted into VLAN number 20 port number 3 I have shifted into VLAN number 30 similarly in my branch port number 4 I shifted into 40 5 shifted into 50 6 shifted into 60 so now what I am going to do now I need to verify from VLAN number 10 can I able to talk to 40 50 or 60 so for that what I'm going to do now let's go and log out from here so just open the command prompt and before I'm going to disconnect from my Dretech router I have verified everything is fine now I'm going to connect it to on port number one on my layer to switch which is in HQ so let's go and connect it now so I have connected now I need to verify can I get the internet or not perfect now I just want to open one more command prompt there I can try to branch very good then after that I'm going to try one more network which is in the branch and I'm trying with one more network which is in the branch so now what I'm going to do now I just want to right click and I can able to select side by side so now I can able to access the internet and in the branch side we have 40 50 and 60 these four three networks I can able to access now so now what I'm going to do now I'm going to disconnect my cable from port number one which means I, anyway I want to show it to you one more thing I just want to confirm that IP address is perfectly all right or not so this is my LAN interface guys just double click on this click on the details by see here I am in VLAN number 10 that's why I got this IP right now what I am going to do now I just want to disconnect now see here the complete traffic went down the internet is no more I cannot able to access 40 50 and 60 now I am going to connect my PC into port number 2 so which means this is belongs to VLAN number 20 so the moment when I connected there see how quick the internet and VPN tunnel is up guys thanks to Dretech if you see there now I just want to show it here what is the IP address I got it click on detail space I got the IP address is from VLAN number 20 
and I can able to access the VPN tunnel and internet as well. So now what I want to do now, I'm going to disconnect from VLAN number 20 and I'm going to connect on VLAN number 30. See here, let's go and connect it. See how quick is the Dretek, wow. Now I need to verify it, what is the IP address I got it guys, yeah. It should be from VLAN number 30. See here. This is what, how you are going to configure PPTP between HQ to the branch. Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email, sales at datawise.com. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, which is DVCom Technology.